Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with a vlog from PAX. So the last couple days um, I'm going to be attending PAX here. It's the Friday today, so I've got a couple more days of that. Um, day one, we mostly ran around and looked at some of the video game type stuff and I played Broforce and I should never I should never be in charge of keeping other people alive in a video game, so that went only so-so. But then we played some very cool late night Terra Mystica. And I realized how rusty I am at that. But the day before, we got to play our first game of Battle Merchants, which is a uh, designer, Gil Hova, I got to meet at Gen Con. And he got this game done through Minion Games. So you. It's a really trippy little game, though. It's an action selection game. You're trying to make these weapons and give them to people who are fighting. But you don't care if they, you know, who's fighting or why but you just want to make sure you're kind of on the winning side because you get more stuff. Um, really neat little engine builder, but it did take me about half a game to even get what I was wanting to do in it. So it needs a couple more plays, but it was super fun. Um, the other thing, uh, the Kickstarter for Nautilus Industries got pretty interesting. The deluxe copies are getting really, really good, so you should check it out. I love, love stock, stock market manipulation, so any game like promising a nice stock market exchange type game I'm gonna love. Uh, that was really good. Uh, we played a game of Dreaming Spires. Uh, this is a board game. It was a Game Salute Kickstarter type game and you're building Oxford. And I'm having a little trouble explaining why I didn't care for it so much, but I just couldn't figure out what was so special about it. Each turn you take an action, you build your little tile building, which isn't that difficult. You hire a guy, you use a guy, and there's kind of a awkward like hopping auction mechanism and that was just kind of funky. Um, so there were like four different types of auctions and the card was really big and it had a giant story on it but all you needed was one little line off of it. So I just, I'm not a huge fan of wasted real estate in games. Um, the pieces were okay but the, I, the puzzle that I thought it would be, which was building the school and putting the tiles next to each other just fell so flat for me and I didn't have much trouble getting the tiles I wanted even because you have a selection of 10 but you also have two vanilla ones that are always available and it's just not so great. Uh, so today I'm looking forward to hopping around all the rooms where the board games are at PAX and then I'm going to the PAX Magic the Gathering release party. or it's, a, it's like a preview party they do every year. So you go in and they spoil a bunch of cards for the upcoming set, which is in about a month if you guys don't follow Magic. But that should be a blast. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, more on this later, but I'll see you guys soon. Bye!